of God's word, I like to say I thank God for the word of God. It gives us help, Amen. gives us strength in our times of trouble and the things we face. Amen. And you know what? By the word of God, we know who our enemy is. Amen. And his name is Satan. The Amen. Bible calls him the devil. Amen. And he's there. He faces all men. There's none of us that... Uh, that he does not come against, you know what? He even comes against those that he has today. So I ask and pray that if you don't know Jesus, your Savior, amen, do the right thing, and that's choose him for your Savior today, amen. amen. But we're going to preach in the Word of God, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, and go through to verse 8. The Bible reads as this, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking who he may devour. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you today, Lord, for all that you've done for us, Father. Father, thank you for the blessings of life. And Father, I thank you, Lord, for the truth of thy word. Thy word lifts us up, gives strength, gives hope, and gives life unto your children here today. And God, I just ask and pray, Father, as you look down upon those that are going through troubling times, you look through those that are struggling in this life that we live today. Father, I pray that they'll look upon thee and they'll realize, Father, that the Bible says, cast all our cares upon you for you care for us today and we praise you and thank you for what you have done and going to do in Jesus name we do pray amen and amen and the word of God here amen it tells us to humble ourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God I'm going to tell you today I thank God amen bless God as a Christian we have to, to humble ourselves under his mighty hand amen bless God many times in this Christian walk that we go in we have to cast all our cares upon him, amen. We are facing, amen, difficult times. We face struggles in this walk of life. But you know what? I know I can humble myself under his mighty hand. And I know that he cares for me today. I know that he's going to be there, amen. But you know what? The Bible tells us that there's some things that we have to do. Number one, we got to humble ourselves. And number two, the Bible says to be vigilant, amen. Amen. To be sober, the Bible says. Amen. It's number two. Be sober. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. You know what? That means we have to stay focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. We got to keep our eyes on the Lord Jesus because Satan will do anything he can to intoxicate your life, to pull your eyes off the Lord. He uses, amen, all types of things. He can use drugs and alcohol. He can use, amen, everything at his disposal today. He can take something, amen, to deter your eyes away from the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what it is. Amen. I thank God, my God, I sent a Savior, amen. He didn't know. Amen. Bless God. He knew that we didn't need, amen, a car. He just sent a car salesman. He knew that we didn't need a home. Amen. He just sent a real estate agent. He knew that we needed a Savior, and he sent our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He sent his only begotten Son, and I thank God today, church, yes, we face difficult times. Yes, amen, the things we see going around us, but I got a God in heaven that says that we can humble ourselves under his mighty hand, and he says we can cast our cares upon him, and I know that he cares for you today. He says for us to be sober, be vigilant, amen, be determined to make heaven as your home. Don't give up today, because the Bible says your adversary walketh around as a roaring lion. He's seeking who he can devour today. The devil is seeking those to destroy their lives. He's seeking those, amen, to tell lies unto, to deter, amen, your walk for the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says for us, if we want to get rid of the devil, it says submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Jesus gave us this example, amen, in the word of God. The Bible tells us, amen, after the baptism of Jesus, the Bible says, that he was led in the wilderness, amen, by the Spirit. You know why today, amen, he was there to face the devil. Amen, he was there to give example to you and I that, you know what, we overcome Satan right here by the word of God. The Bible tells us, amen, that Satan come against him. And he said, 
Amen. If thou be the Son of God, turn this stone into bread. But you know what? Jesus, uh, he didn't. Amen. Uh, bless God. Look at that stone. Uh, amen. With the power that Jesus had, he could have surely uh, turned that stone into bread. Uh, but he didn't look uh, within himself. Amen. Uh, he stayed focused. Amen. Uh, he kept his eyes and determination uh, to do what the Heavenly Father had him to do. Uh, and the Bible says, man shall not live uh, by bread alone, uh, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Uh, I'm going to tell you today, uh, I thank God, amen, uh, that that is our key to life. Uh, we have to make sure, uh, amen, bless God, that we're not living uh, by bread alone, uh, but bless God that we're living uh, uh, by the word, uh, uh, amen, of God. Uh, I'm talking about the true and living word today. Uh, I'm talking about the old-fashioned King James uh, the Bible word today. I'm talking about the faith-believing. Uh, I'm talking about bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, amen, bless God, Jesus died on the cross uh, so that man can make heaven as his home. Uh, Amen. There may be some uh, that are teaching some other way, uh, but the only way to heaven, uh, uh, Jesus said, I am the way, uh, the truth, and the life. Uh, and bless God, it's in the word of God. Uh, open up your Bibles uh, and you can read it today. Amen. Uh, and I thank God. Amen. It's the truth of God's word. Uh, God's word will not lie. God said, you know what? I have done something perfect. Uh, he looked over at heaven uh, and he seen his son, Jesus. Uh, he said, Jesus, they need something. Uh, amen. That bulls, uh, amen, and goats cannot supply. That blood will not cover the sins. He said only the perfect sacrifice, amen, the Lamb of God can cover the multitude of these sins. And he looked over to Jesus. He knew what Jesus said. I'll go, I'll go. And bless God, he was born as a babe in the manger, amen. Bless God in swaddling clothes. He didn't come, amen. Bless God within gold and crowns of this nature. But you know what? One day, amen, yes, he came as a lamb, but one day he's coming back as a lion. The lion of Judah's coming back, to take his church back home. Amen. 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 And the Bible says, amen, Satan went once again. He took him up high on a pinnacle. Amen. Of the temple. Amen. And bless God. Hallelujah. And he said, if thou be the son of God, amen, cast thyself down. But you know what Jesus didn't say? Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. I'm going to prove you who I am. The Bible says, amen, the word of God tells us, amen, that thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. I'm going to tell you, my God's going to take care of me. I don't have to prove nothing to the devil. Amen. I've got to walk the walk that God has me to walk. Amen. Bless God. I thank God. Bless God. As long as God is pleased. Amen. I have nothing to worry about. The devil can sit on the corner. Amen. And suck on his thumb. Because I have. Amen. The saving power of Jesus Christ. I have been bought by the blood of Jesus. Amen. And bless God. You know what? There's nothing the devil can do. Amen. Bless God. Because he cannot cross the bloodline. Amen. He's got to sit over there. Amen. And pout. But you know what? One day. Amen. Bless God. The army of God's going to ride with the Lord and Savior on white horses, amen, we're going to come, and you know what, the word of God, this word, amen, is what Jesus is going to condemn, amen, that old devil with, amen. amen. Oh, and the Bible says then the devil didn't give up there, it says again the devil, amen, he taketh him, amen, into a high mountain, and he took him up on a high mountain, he showed him all, oh, amen, the kingdoms. And he said, you know what, uh, uh, Jesus, if you will bow down to me, uh, I'll give you all this. Uh, but you know what, he didn't know uh, that Jesus already owned it, amen. Uh, amen, he was there in the creation. Uh, he was there in the beginning, amen. Uh, he holds all in his hands uh, by the word of God. Uh, amen, all things is given unto our Lord. Uh, and I thank God for that today. Uh, and you know what he said, amen. Uh, he told him, uh, thou shalt not worship the Lord. Uh, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God uh, and none other, amen. Uh, and only him shall thou serve. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. And I thank God it still choose approves the day. Amen. We got one and one only we serve. We love all, but we worship one. Amen. And that's the true and living God. Amen. That's my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He paid the price and he's there for us today. Amen. amen. But the Bible tells us, amen, as children of God, when we are led, and we see that the, the enemy coming against us, amen, that we can have the power that Jesus Christ has. We can have that same power, amen. The Bible says, amen, in Ephesians 6 and 11, he says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be a stand against the wiles of the devil, amen. And I thank God, amen, we can put on that armor of God today. I thank God, amen, that's God that we can stand against the wiles of the devil. And it says when you've done all you can do, amen, 
Just stand, amen. Stand your ground for what's right. Stand your ground for the word of God. I'm going to tell you, if we'll do what God says to do, we can't go wrong. If we'll, amen, obey God's word, amen, and not back up, not compromise, amen, not go with the liberalism of this world, we're not going to go wrong. And I thank God, amen, when I got all I can do, I can just stand. And when I stand, amen, and the power of God, God's going to move things out of the way. God's going to take care of the things that come against us. Amen. amen. The Bible says, amen, standing therefore having your loins girt about with the truth. Amen. And having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the peace of, of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Amen. He gives us things to cover our whole body. But if you read the Word of God, uh, He doesn't give you nothing to cover your backside. He doesn't want us to turn and run. Amen. That's why He said when you've done all you can do, uh, just stand. Amen. I've got you armored. I've got your head covered. I've got a breastplate of righteousness. I've got your loins girt with a truth.